Welcome back to the channel. So today I've got another 2023 M4 competition. This one is in individual chalk, which is of course a Porsche color. And it's basically on almost every Porsche I can think of. And I think what most of you folks probably think is, well, why not Brooklyn Gray? Well, the only thing they have in common is that they are called grays. I will insert a picture here of this M4 next to a Brooklyn Gray X3. It's the same lighting conditions, but basically chalk is a much, much lighter color than Brooklyn Gray. And Brooklyn Gray, like chalk on Porsches, is basically on everything. So you're not going to be too, say, unique in getting a Brooklyn Gray M3 or M4 or Brooklyn Gray whatever these days. But we've had chalk on the channel before in the guise of the M3 competition and we've done it again with the M4 competition. Let's talk about this build in particular. As you can see we do have the laser lights which I think are a must-have. All right, so I guess we don't know what's going to happen with the LCI for the 4 Series, which should be for model year 25. And, be and because the M3 shares the front end with the M4, we should get a revision to the headlights. Now, given what's happened with other cars available with laser lights, they've basically disappeared. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with these headlights and how they're going to change. But right now, let we might as well just enjoy what we have here. And these halos look fantastic. We've also got the M4 badging on the grill in gloss black. And our 50th anniversary BMW M emblems. Now again, those are now gone off all the builds. You still can get them through your parts counter or through places like IND Distribution. All right, so moving over to the side, we've got the very popular 826M wheels. These ones are the bicolor option, along with the red M compound brake calipers. And we did not win the tire lottery here. We got the Pirelli P0s, which are okay. Uh, I think most people would probably prefer the Michelins. All right, let's take a step back. And it's a little bit cloudy right now. But again, chalk is not a metallic paint. It's a unipaint, unlike Brooklyn Gray, which is metallic. I think it does change a little bit. I think chalk is a really good color. Of course, you're probably going to see it everywhere, like you will Brooklyn Gray. All right, so out back, we got our gurney flap in high gloss black, our fifth anniversary BMW M emblem, our M4 competition badge in gloss black, and stuff in the back, see the faux diffuser, and our quad exhaust. All right, make our way around the other side of this lovely chalk. I'm going to take in side profile here. All right, so let's make our way to the driver's side and we'll open up and take a look at the options and pricing. So opening up, I mean, what else could you go with chalk, right? This is the classic combination here with Fiona red. So gray and red go really well together. So you have the standard M Sport seats. Did not get the carbon buckets on this one. Just to keep prices down a wee bit. But this is the full Fiona Red Leather. And what you can see on the door card, the contrast stitching in red. Which also goes over to the dashboard. You can see that there in red as well. All right, so inside live cockpit. Professional here with iDrive 7. Now, March production, which is what we're filming in right now, begins the 24 model year, which this is all going to be replaced with iDrive 8. Got our red M1, M2 buttons, carbon fiber shift paddles as well, carbon fiber insert for the steering wheel, iDrive 7 screen, and the rest of the carbon fiber interior trim. And center console area, you got your gear selector with the M embossed logo as well and stitching. Very nice touches. For the starting price of the M4 Comp, $78,600. Chalk, 
$25.50 for the full Fiona Red leather. $700 for the parking assistance package, another $15.50 for the exact package. $900 for the M Drive Professional. Shadow Line lights, another $300. $950 for the carbon fiber trim. $1,000 for the laser lights. And an all told MSRP of $91,295. And this chalk basically can become yours if the price is right. All right, we'll hop on the back seat real quickly. Just the lever here, pull the seat forward, and the rest will go automatically. All right, so here's the view from the back seat. Again, I'd say plenty of leg room and knee room. But of course, the issue is going to be headroom for taller passengers. Another zone back here for the two rear passengers should you choose to squeeze two people in the back here. Which I guess can be done at a pinch. So we'll take a look at the door sill here which just says M4 with an M4 competition. I think a little lame that they got rid of that. Alright, make our way to the back. Again, no kick to open on the M4 or M3 even though it's a powered tailgate. I'm guessing the faux diffuser there blocks any signal for kick to open. So trunk size, you know, fairly decent size. Now we just press this close button here. If you press the lock button, it will still close and will lock the car. Right, make our way towards the front here and we'll pop the hood. Unfortunately, we're not going to get much sun to show off chalk in the sun. Alright, so underneath the hood here is the S58 inline 6 3 liter twin turbo engine, 503 horsepower, 479 torques. A fantastic engine. You can see it here. I guess I decreed, I'm not sure, my German is not great, is the German word for chalk. But that's what it is, and that's your little placard. All right, we'll take one more walk around. Chalk. Hopefully, there's a drinking game involved with the number of times I say the color. Hopefully, you're wasted by now. Just take it in one more time before we say goodbye. So again, we still have two more individual M4s coming in. They are the X-Dry versions and they will be Blue Sapphire and Thunder. So look forward to having those on the channel eventually, but for now we'll see you at the next video.